that on um, which is a little bit more than a hundred thousand dollars anyway. So uh, I still got other bills to pay besides the house, you know. So I still, as far as I'm concerned, I still got to work. Uh, so I don't. Right now, uh, my plans are my initial plans are to continue doing the things I've always done. You know, and when I won the Olympia, I had a job and I worked, you know, pretty, pretty much every day. And and I don't see how <clears throat> that could probably interfere with uh, uh, my training again. Right now, nothing is changing. But who's to say down the road, you know, if things pick up and you know, I have my demand for, for like seminars and guest holding is something that I'm not able to, to do uh, as far as the time with the police department go. And I may have to either take a leave of absence or uh, do uh, reserve work. So, but right now, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and stick. I'm gonna stay with what I got. Well, as far as Let's go on stage. Uh, as far as the uh, contest goes, you know, I was the best man that day. My conditioning was far better than pretty much everybody else's. And uh, my hands and my glutes, my back was kind of like superior, but it's kind of hard for me to uh, go out and say that because I didn't really see myself on stage and I didn't really to be honest with you, I didn't see anybody else on stage. I was just pretty much displaying what I had. As far as my preparation goes, and, and as far as me uh, being the winner on that day, you know, I didn't do it all by myself, you know. A lot of people say that bodybuilding is probably an individual sport because when you're, you're on stage, you pretty much, uh, you, you, you don't have a, a lot of other people around you. Uh, like, that's like, maybe football or basketball, you know. But as far as bodybuilding goes, I, I also think it's a team sport too because, you know, you don't achieve all what you achieve by yourself. Uh, as far as my nutritional uh, guidance,